Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem If. I am my Steak Some Times, and last episode we took on Chapter 5. And in this episode, we are going to take on Chapter 6. So before we start this video, please give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. So without further ado, let's take this on and see how we do. On Chapter 6, baby. So it's going to be fantastic in this amazing new place that we haven't been to before yet. So hello there, madams and sirs. Let's honor our valor and get to a new area with us sneaking ourselves and this guy trying to help us out with this stuff we can have a very quick uh, success in this victory and in this war itself so here we go will this be the end of sneak I don't think so guys I highly doubt it will be that quick but as you can see they're trying to kill people now Oh, frick. It's time. It is time, people. Uh oh. It is time to decide where we lie in this game. So I'm going to choose the first one first, and I'm going to go through the other ones, I think, as well. So let's do the top one first. Here we go. Yes, we understand. Let's go, people. Let's do this. Very nice. Chapter 6 of the top one. I don't know what it is. Please let me know down in the comments which uh, um, actual people it is because um, I really can't understand Japanese, so it kind of makes sense uh, to understand after you guys tell me. So there we go. Now we're, at, now we're with these guys, I guess. Very nice. We, cho we chose the right path. On this version I'm pretty sure we did so it's no match for us but he's kind of mad at us now so I'm pretty sure we picked the other guys oops I'm sorry bro I did not mean to make you mad at all <gasps> no I'm sorry I'm definitely sorry there chick I am truly sorry dang it oh, we made the wrong decision let's go back let's go back no I'm doing those as well so it doesn't matter so here we go, I guess. Let's do this, guys. Yeah. Very nice. I was gonna try to kill us. Why? It's because we chose the wrong path. Went down the path of uh, righteousness. We want to kill these guys forever because they wanted. He wanted his own toast, and we're the king of toast. Okay, we're the best kings of toast. Of course, he just runs away after slicing our hat off. It's not good. Wow, dude. Really. Freaking jerk. That's not good, man. Okay, then. Uh, well, I guess let's go. Take these guys on. Nicely done. Nice slash there, uh, Mr. Man. Really appreciate you for helping me out after this D-bag tries slicing my head off. It's very nice of you, man. I really appreciate you so much. Yes, thank you, I know. This guy tried slicing my head open, but I'm really glad you were there. And this freaking random paddling guy was just trying to kill me for no reason. I have no idea who this guy is. He was trying to steal me. I've been kidnapped! Help! Help, I've been kidnapped! I guess not, whatever. Screw you, bro. Screw you. Alright then, so I guess this is going to be a huge battlefield of us trying to get past these guys even further than before. Okay. Yeah, we're just in some random field, like, yelling at each other for no reason. Why did you go on the other side there, Sneak? You stupid idiot. We could have had you to save us. But now, we can't even do anything about it because it's up to you to save us now. So we're going with the freaking uh, first people that we saw. Which is pretty cool and nifty. So I guess, let's go into our player phase. We can kill some people like this guy. Oh, is this an actual guy that we can get? Let's uh, look at another person to see. Um, nope, these are our other guys that um, in the if I pick them, they would actually be on my side. So keep that in mind. I'm just using my skills uh, on this team for right now. So there's no match as long as uh, we pick the right thing to do. Which, as you can see, sneaks away in the back, so he can't do anything right now. But um, as long as he uh, moves forward one step at a time. He should be okay. Let me attack this guy. Do some uh, four damages to this guy. 
very quickly on top of a bridge for no reason. Don't know why we're doing that, but he has the high road right now, so that's not good. He could totally kick our butts really quickly, which is absolutely not good whatsoever. So as you can see, we're using our Mace Windu to take on this guy even more. He's going to try to kill us with his uh, seven sword attack abilities and stuff, which as you can see, didn't do that much damage to us. But the uh, Archer Chick will finish this off with a 90% ratio of killing this guy, which he did. So we actually can move on across the bridge. Yay. I'm also going to heal up our friend friend over here so you won't die from a horrible death from that seven hit combo which is absolutely horrible for him I really feel bad for him now it's like it's like one of those things that I really wish that I could take back from this guy just because he felt so hard and he fought so long and he only got seven damage to this guy and the other guy just died off the cliff for no reason I wonder though if um, if we kill these guys will they return Seems like it though. I am not too sure. Maybe it will all depend on how the game is. Maybe because it's so uh on the easier difficulty, maybe not. Um where the heck are what the frick? Oh, how high can we go up? That's really weird. Okay. Uh is there, is there anybody else? Is there anybody else here? Uh no? Where's the last guy? Show me! Where? Um what? There's no one. Oh, what the frick? Oh, it's our guy. Hey! Let's kill this guy, I guess. See you later, bro. Have a nice day. You're dead. In my belly, baby! Have a nice day there, punk. You punk boy. That was a nice move there, man. I really appreciate you. That guy was just blending in for no reason. I don't understand it whatsoever, but... Apparently, this Robin clone is gonna try to kill us with his magic abilities, which he didn't at all, because we're the best. And then this guy will die here because he's a moron who tries to attack guy with this attack a guy with a sword, not attack attack guy, because guy is actually the um, swordsmanship guy from Fire Emblem One on a bridge itself. So that kind of makes it back to nostalgia and stuff. So we clear the stage. Um, okay, that's all we need to do. All right, that was really easy, I guess. <laughs> all right then, whatever, bro, whatever. Cool, man. I'm, re I'm really glad we kicked that guy's butt. Maybe we could have talked to the guys to make him come over to our side. I'm not too sure. Maybe I did it wrong. I'm not entirely in uh, sure what I did, but... Really glad that title cutscene was back again, which... Just recalling what our... what we did since last time, you know, it just explains to us the, the same exact story as we came into this, uh, game 
knowing already, so that's pretty good, I guess. I'm glad they did this. If not, then I would have been totally confused. I would have had to take notes, and then I wouldn't have passed my quiz in uh, Fire Emblem Class 101. Uh... Alright then, let's go inside this portal and see what, what we can do. Which is the same place that this guy showed us beforehand with the tree house. Okay. Now we can do stuff with this thing, I, I think. Maybe he'll talk some more about it. Who knows? Okay. Pretty sick there, pal. Awesome, dude. Thank you for that. I really appreciate you. Alright, so guys, next episode, that we'll take on the next level of this game. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like me, you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.